Kirk Burgess here with Music Marketing TV, and today we're going to be taking a look at Acon Digital's D-Clip 2. I'm grabbing this because I actually grab it quite often, and I figured a use case is going to be the best way to show this. So this is some gaming I was recording, and I was in a Discord, and some people on the Discord had clipping on their mics. Now, I record my mic separate, so it's not a problem, but their mics had clipping on it and parts of it I wanted to use, but I wanted to minimize the clipping. So if we go ahead and let's just go ahead and turn off the D clip for now. And let's just hear the original take with the clipping. Home sweet home boys. A lot of extra bright high end stuff. Home sweet home boys. Mm. So what we're going to do is just turn this on and this is what it's going to sound like after. Home sweet home boys. So it's still there a little bit, but it's been reined in a lot better. Home sweet home boys. And if I really wanted to, I could fiddle with this and get like a super as clean as possible result uh, with the audio that I'm given. And just to show you how easy it is to get the result, you just go ahead, add an effect, uh, add the D clip two, And also the D click as well is a miracle worker for a bunch of things. So one of these days when it comes up, I have to do a video for that. Uh, so here is it. Now let's just go ahead and turn it off. So this was before. Home sweet home boys. And this was after. Home sweet home, boys. Now you notice that this one, it's still a little bit more noticeable. I'll just play it one more time. Home sweet home, boys. You can hear it being reduced, and we can fix this by moving these around and sort of optimizing where they're at. This I do through just trial and error. I don't think like incredibly technically while I'm doing this, I just sort of move it around until I find a setting that I like. Home sweet home, boys. And so we can move this. You could try really far back, but I find usually somewhere. Home sweet home, boys. Somewhere around there. It's a, a big improvement over where it was. This is where we started. Home sweet home, boys. Where it's really, really obvious. So there's one example. I, there are actually several, but here's another big one uh, where he says the word right. We know what to do. Go to the right. And if we go ahead and take this off, this is what it would have sounded like. We know what to do. Go to the right. And you hear that that extra bright clipping coming up right there at the end. And let's go with the one that I settled on before. We know what to do. Go to the right. And I like the profile. I get a little bit more off this one actually than I do uh, this one. And it's just a, it's a minute difference. You can see this one's just slightly wider than this one. And it's going to be a balancing act on, how, on where you want to place these. But... That is uh, D-Clip 2. It is something that I am regularly grabbing for stuff like this. Uh, among the D-Clippers out there, I think it performs great. I'll often try several. We know what to do. Go to the right. Versus. We know what to do. Go to the right. Yeah. So really, really nice thing to just clean up audio quickly. It allows you to get working very efficiently and move on. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.